Hey church, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Shout out today to Chris from Sunrise, Florida, who took a group of men through one of our studies, sent me a picture and the whole bit. Thank you, Chris, for what you're doing. And I pray all those men out there follow you as you continue to follow Jesus. And with that, we're going to follow Jesus today, right to the foot of the cross here. John chapter 19, verses 23 through 25, it reads, when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. So these soldiers are just gaming right here. They're gambling. They think this is funny. This was to fulfill the scripture, which says, they divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. So what John is doing here, the writer of the gospel, is he is showing us the sharp contrast between two audiences of people that are standing by the cross. One is an audience of male soldiers who are laughing and unconcerned and completely in control this moment. Another audience is a female family member or two, crying, concerned, and being controlled. Between them, Jesus. The soldiers viewed him as shame. The women view him as a son. But then, with perspective, there's another look we get. It's one from John. About 50 years after this moment, John looks back in the writing of the Gospel of John at the cross and now understands that this man wasn't a shamed son. He was Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, who bore his shame so that we might know no shame and God's salvation. Isn't that an interesting perspective when you think about it, when you rewind to think about how everybody was thinking about this moment at the moment, and then you jump 50 years, just 50 years ahead, to look at it entirely differently and see the drama and the pain unfold. You know, Phyllis, sometimes at the moment, we don't always see the importance of the moment, do we? All we see is the drama and the pain. But regardless of the moment that you're having today, you need to look back at that cross and remember the moment that God turned shame into salvation. Phyllis, you got to trust his plan today. You might see drama and pain, but it actually could be a divine moment, which it is. I love you guys. I pray this blesses you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.